Well, the Cascades are just getting pounded with snow right now. So much so, all major passes are closed until at least tomorrow. This is after several feet of new snow already fell across the past week. King 5's Glenn Farley is near North Bend. He joins us live with efforts to try to reopen the interstates. Glenn, another day for you up in the snow. Well, yeah, if there's snow around me, I'm in North Bend now. This is the end of the line for I-90. This is where people are being uh, turned off the road. I-90, I'm standing in the middle of it, eastbound, is not going. The biggest threat here is, of course, from avalanches up above. So much snow, warming temperatures, and that's not a good recipe for avalanches. And we also may face another thing uh, along I-5, another situation that could kind of make us into an island. There is truck after truck, all of them stuck, waiting. This time stuck for days, waiting for I-90 to open back up. Terrible, very terrible. I gotta go east over the mountain and then drop down. Trucker Andrew Smith of Milwaukee, Wisconsin has added complications. He's hauling an oversized load. Everything is a gamble at this point. You gotta turn around and go back that way. If you're driving a truck or car, your options are severely limited. I-90 over Snoqualmie Pass, closed till Saturday. US-2 over Stevens Pass, no estimate on reopening. Even Blewett Pass, east of the mountains, ended up closed. Highway 12 over White Pass, closed till Saturday. US-14 on the Washington side of the Columbia River Gorge, open but not for trucks. And Oregon's I-84 on the south side, closed due to landslides. But much of western Washington could become an island, and that's happened before. In 2007, the Chehalis River blew through a levee and put I-5 under more than 10 feet of water. Trucks backed up trying to go south. That also happened in the 90s, and I was down there for that one as well. So that can happen. Whether that happens here or not, we're going to have to see. Now, we have had an update from the Washington State Department of Transportation here is what that is. There is a possibility that I-90 over Snoqualmie Pass and White Pass could open as early as tomorrow. But there are a lot of caveats with that. And again, they're saying probably Saturday, but again, they're opening that up as a possibility. Live along I-90, on I-90, going up towards Snoqualmie Pass, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.